What's up, everybody? It's John, John Sports Touch coming to the brand new video. How's everyone doing today in this wonderful Friday? It's the end of the week, and we have a special treat for you today. We've got our third box of Universal Treasures, the best vintage baseball card search in the universe. This is cool. This is our third box we will be opening. Uh, we have broken this product, and it has been incredible. Um, the search for this is for the 1952 Tops Mickey Mantle rookie cards plus other stars and rookie cards. There's 21 packs of Universal Treasures uh, packs in here. And um, it's all top stuff from 52 to 83. There's seven cards per pack. And this is going to be lots and lots of fun. You can see the front here. This is this is the you know just some of the possibilities that you can find in here. We have pulled out some of these cards out of these last two, product, last two uh, boxes that we did. Uh, let's pull this back so we have some space here. Move this over. Uh, so I'm going to showcase the rest of this box. This is sealed. This is box number 22423 out of 25,000. Um, here's this side of the box. Here's the back. Here's more just, you know, showcasing the photos of the possible rookie cards we can find here of tops. Now, before I open this box, I just want to say to a few people out there in YouTube universe, these, th this, this product, I purchased this on my own. It's not sent to me. It's not this company, Universal Treasures, sending me some like stacked box. You know, we're not, we're not, uh, stacking the deck here with these cards, so to speak. And the, and, and the, you know, what's in here, what's going to maybe be in here. Um, the past videos have been some really kind of nasty comments about that kind of thing. And I have no affiliation with this company. I have no affiliation with the company that sells this online. In fact, I found their, their uh, website have to have a good dig deep in, deep in the internet. And the, on the last box that I purchased, the first box that I purchased of this product was on eBay. So, and this one I bought again from that company. So I don't want to hear any, any of you guys out there, you know, saying these things anymore because it's kind of BS and it wasn't really cool. And it was kind of, I kind of got a little offended by it, you know, considering like, you know, I am on the up and up period with with our channel here and what we showcase, and we never do anything funky. Period. So there you go. It's a sealed box. You can see the Universal Treasures thing here. We're gonna open all this on camera. I was gonna do this thing live, but I figured it'd be too much of a hassle. Uh, and I don't have any moderators, so um, which I should probably end up getting some because I'd like to do some live auctions. But I just wanted to kind of point that out to people. Because there were a couple of, of you guys out there where, you know, if you'd said those kind of things directly in my face, you would have gotten something thrown right back at you. All right, here are the packs. Now, I think there's also an autograph, possibly a relic in here. The last one we did, we pulled a Mickey Mantle um, uh, jersey relic out of, which we don't know what that was. We were trying to, you know, some people were trying to um, to figure it out. I, I thought it might have been like the brim of, of his baseball cap. Um, but I'm not sure. Maybe it was his underpants. Somebody said it was his, his, his grandmother's drapes. I don't know. Let's put these all right here so everyone can see. Move this all the way back. We got all kinds of room. Let's cut these things open. I got my penny sleeves. I got my penny sleeves ready to go. And, um, some card stands in case we find something cool. I'm sure we will. It's a matter of what. Yeah, I... Just, just before I start this thing, I have zero affiliation with anybody. We've done, we showcased two products on here that were sent to me. Um, the Sonic Boombox, there might have been another one. Um, the rest of the stuff I purchased all my own. Oh, Excel Marketing occasionally sends me some things. So just so you guys know that. And, and I know our, all of our normal subscribers that, that watch watch our channel here know this stuff. But there's you, know, you get these Yahoo's that come in out, you know, out of the blue. You know, and they got, you know, they got to, they got to try to rock the boat here and like, you know, just kind of be jerks. So enough of that. All right, here we go. I'm sure someone will comment down below too. And I don't care because you'll, you'll be gone. Okay. So we got 1970 uh, rookie stars here. The Royals, Al Fitz, Fitzmorris and Scott Northey. These cards are in prime shape like they have been. And um, yeah, this, I mean, the sets, they must have pulled these out to put these boxes together. Uh, they must have been just kept you know, so, so just, uh, stored so well. Here's the back of this. This is cool. Um, all right. Nice Harold Baines from 83. So I'm going to keep all the, let's see, what are the seventies? What are the eighties? We'll keep, try to keep them all in order or in, in order. Uh, 77 Ed Figueroa. Um, nice Sam McDowell. 
just the, you can, I don't know if you can see the surface on these things and the corners, my God, super, super sharp. So 74, um, Glenn Burke from seven, whoops, from 79 tops. Let's just move this down a little bit so I have a better view. Okay. Oscar Powell from 1980 tops. And we end with Goose Gossage. So, you know, an okay pack to start off. I also have people complaining, like, you know, that uh, they bought boxes of this product and they didn't get anything good out of it. Again, I don't know what goes into this thing, folks. So I, you know, they were like leaving these terrible comments. So, I'm sorry I'm going off. Let's enjoy this. Let's enjoy this. Let's enjoy this. I don't know what's in these boxes, honestly. So I'm sorry if you got a bad box. It's the way it goes. Nice Joe Foy. From uh, 67 Tops. Nice Pete Rose. Nice. Okay. Let's put uh, the, the 60s pile, 70s, and then 80s. It's a beautiful card there. 1970 tops, beautiful, can't beat that. Tom Hutton, 77. Nice Lee May. From 74. Oh, we'll just go through them and highlight all the 70s cards. Who cares? This is going to be fun. Tom Hume from 79. Uh, Craig Nettles from 82 tops. And then we end with Mike Rogodzinski from 74. All right. Beautiful. Okay. Pete Rose. That was a nice one to pull. I think I will put that on a penny sleeve. If I do another box of this, we will do it live. Let's just figure out the moderators for this. All right. Sam McDowell starts us out. 68 tops. Wayne uh, Granger. 74, Ted Kubiak from 77, Dave Revering from 79. Yes! That's a nice one. Bingo, bongo, give that dog a bone. Cal Ripken, rookie card. That is a beautiful, beautiful card. And let's look at the corners. Not too bad, not too bad. Maybe a tiny little ding there, but that's a nice card. We will take that. That's a nice one. Now, we have his trade. We have this card already. Uh, I already have this card. I pulled it actually as a child. Um, and then we have the traded one, too. So that's my second one of that. That's awesome. I think this one actually might be better centering the one I have. So that's a nice one to start off with. Jeff Burrows, 1980 uh, Tops. And we have with Tony Armas uh, from 1981 Tops. All right, let's just keep rocking and rolling here, guys. That was a nice one to get. We got two good ones so far. We're number one. Mets celebrate. There's uh, Ryan in here. Seaver. Let's say in the back who would know. But that's a nice one there. It's pretty cool. George Stone. From 75 tops, way off center, kind of weird like printing thing going on there. Rudy May from 76. Nice Dave Parker. It's pretty sweet. Cobra. Um, that's a nice card there. Uh, from 78. Got Leon Roberts from 79. Tony LaRusa from 1980. What three? We have Gary Woods of the painted Houston Astros helmet. 1981 tops. All righty, let's keep going. Andy Etchenbaron. Look at that face. Hello, Andy. He's happy. Boy, he's happy to be in the Orioles there. This is a nice one from 67. So that's pretty sweet.
beautiful. Billy Grabarkowitz from 75. Ron Say from 78. Mike Hargrove from 76. Chris Chandler from 78. And Dave Parker from 83. And we end with Dale Barra from 1981 Tops. Let's see who else we're going to highlight here. Hold on a second. Doo, doo, doo. Um, okay. All right, next pack. Sweet, Danny Martog. Now, what year is this from? Uh, so 56. I'm guessing. I'm just literally trying to figure this out. I don't know this this design. So, um, comment down below. I think this is 56. Nice Danny Murtog there. That's pretty cool. I'll put this in a penny sleeve. Not too bad. It's Frank Tanana right after Mr. Murtog. Awesome. Okay. Uh, Frank Tanana from 76 Tops. Aurelio Rodriguez from 75. Boy, I wish I could afford a box of this. I'll tell you what, I love this design. And 72 as well. Oh, cool. Dale Murphy, rookie card, rookie catcher's card. Um, we got Bo Diaz, rest in peace, Mr. Diaz, Dale Murphy, just inducted, not inducted to the Hall of Fame, he needs to be, I keep thinking he's in and he's not. Lance Parrish and Ernie Witt, this is a nice card here, I like this one a lot, let's put this one in a penny sleeve too, there are other ones that we'll put in penny sleeves at the end, there's nice, um, Sparky Anderson, I believe he's in the Hall of Fame, Cincinnati Reds, Detroit Tigers, right, manager? Sparky Anderson. It's a nice one there from 78 Tops. All you Reds fans out there. Jeff Reardon from 83. And Alan Ashby from 81. All right, let's see what we got. We got a lot of packs here, folks. Um, that Ripken rookie card was really cool to get. It was exciting to get that. I wasn't jumping up and down like I was with the Henderson or the Mantle one we pulled. I mean, we didn't pull Mantle rookie, but Mantle card. Out of this, um, the Henderson rookie the last time was awesome. The maze, I mean, that was a really good box. Okay, Frank uh, Quillacy, and this uh, is from uh, this is 66, yeah, 66 tops. Nice, nice 81 tops. Pete Rose, followed by 76 Bob Moose. Look at this rose. It might have a little ding on it. Mm, right there. I'll put it in a penny sleeve anyway. I don't know if I showcase our 81 set, but we do have it, I believe. So then if I haven't showcased, I'll probably at some point during the summer pull it out. Uh, Bob Moose, 76 tops. Johnny Oates from 75. Tommy Helms from 78. John Candelaria from, we got our auto hit here. Or, yeah, our auto hit. And it looks like Paul Molitor. How about that? That's a nice one. Nice. Paul Molitor, Hall of Famer. Master name there. John Candelaria is before that with A3 Tops. We have a Tom Griffin. All right, that's not too bad. I'll take that auto. That's a big, big name right there. Um, a big name. So this is like a Panini product card. Uh, we pulled a Fergie Jenkins one of this before. It's number 89. Uh, it's a Cooperstown collection, I think, or something along those lines. I'm not sure the exact... Um, um, from, what's, from what set this is from. But it's really cool. And let's put this up here somehow and showcase it. 
Um, maybe back. Just slide this over a little bit, give us some room. Put this auto here. Let's see what else we can find. There you go with that. All right, let's keep going. Milt Pappas. Very cool. Um, again, what year is this one too? I should know and I don't. And... Okay. Comment down below if you know what year the tops is from. Dag Gallon. I was going to have like my whole, like for these really, really old years I'm not familiar with, I was going to um, have everything out and it's it's not. As far as the looks, you know, examples of the few, there's only a couple years I'm not familiar with. Ramon Hernandez from 75. But this is a cool card. There you go there. LaRon Lee from 76 tops. Nice. George Brett from 78. That's a good one. Penny sleeve, I did not. I'm going to do that right now. Excited to get that one. I'm sure somebody's screaming at the, at the at their computer now. Penny sleeve that card up, John. All right, well, I did. Ken Holtzman from 78. Jack Clark. Very underrated player there, overlooked. Um, really good player for the Giants and various teams after that. Uh, nice, uh, Jeff Leonard. Well, look how clean that card looks, too. Jack Clark, Jeff Leonard. A381 tops. All right. Mike Paul from 73 tops. It's the first time I've seen a 73. They never put 72s in here, and we really, we, I think, I don't know if it was this product, or so maybe got a few 71s. Uh, they usually skip those two years for some weird reason. Terry Forster from 76. Denny Doyle from 75. Johnny Bench is a nice one there, too. From 79. Followed by Omar Moreno. You can see right there from 78. The Antelope, nice Gary Carter, May 3, and Mike Davis from 81 Tops. Let me cut that close. Push it down a little bit. Just missed it. All right. There we go. Okie dokie, here we go. Hank Bauer, it's a nice one. Nice Thurman Munson, that's beautiful. Oh, just bumped the camera. Oh, I was so excited. Thurman Munson, 73. That's a nice card. Let's put that in a penny sleeve as well. That's cool. I do not have that card. Hank Bauer, and I bumped the camera when I saw Thurman Munson. Okay, bam. This has been a pretty good box so far. Let's see what else we can find. It to me, it's different. You know, it's like um, they they've all been different. Um, the first one was phenomenal with the mantles happening, and then the last one was really good. But and this one's been really good too. I mean, the names are are uh, it's different. Um, okay, let's keep going here. So you got seventy four Joe Lahoyd, Larry Parrish from from um, nineteen eighty tops. Mike Norris from 77 tops. Larry Sorensen from 70, 79. And then the Rick Roden from 82. So that was cool. Hank Bauer in the Hall of Fame. Thurman Munson is not. To my surprise, I found out about that. Um, I thought he would have been, but he's not. Um, again, I cut it just a little bit. Let me cut it. 
I do not want to cut these cards. Okay. All righty. 1970, Gary Gentry. Do something here. It's nice. Steve Garvey. I'm going to pull out um, 1970 cards. There's a lot of really good cards in here. If there's any in here I want to highlight. Uh, no, I think I got it. Okay. We'll put, we'll put uh, Gary up in the regular pile here. For now, nice. Steve Garvey from 79. Did not make it in the hall this year. I think he was on the ballot. This is cool. Uh, 1977 Toronto Blue Jays, founded in 1976. I've never seen this uh, team car before. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. It's nice. Richie Zisk. 74. Um, we've got Kenta Colby, Teak, excuse me, from 1980. George Scott. And with Willie Randolph. There's nothing really exciting in that pack at all. A couple of good names, but like, I guess Steve Garvey was probably the biggest one out of that. Let's put him aside. Now, I wasn't a big fan of Steve Garvey. I didn't really like the Dodgers growing up. I liked all the oddball weird teams. Obviously, our Pittsburgh Pirates, you know, the teams are in last place and whatnot. But as time has, grown, has gone on, I appreciate Steve Garvey. He was just a clean-cut guy. You know, and I was, that was like a turnoff for me as a kid. But um, I, I do appreciate him when he was in the Padres because he really helped that that um, franchise out um, for, the, for the stint that he was with them as well. So we'll put Steve Garvey in the highlight pile at the end because a lot of good stuff. There's Alan Trammell in the back here. Carl Taylor. 73 tops there. Everything's all tops. This is nice. Hank Aaron, RBI, um, all-time record leaders with Hank, with Hack Wilson. Pretty sweet. This was 76, right? I think I'm reading that right. This in a hang sleeve. I don't know what the value of this is. Some of these record holder ones hold a lot of value in certain years. So, you know, when they mix the old and the new together like that, let's look that one up. Jim Burton from 76 Tops. Billy Garbarkowitz. Didn't we already get him? Or maybe it was a different year. Maybe the same year. Jim Rice. Nice. 78. Following Mitchell Page from 1980. Hall of Famer Jim Rice, followed by Alan Trammell. Hall of Famer from 81. Uh, we're going to leave him in the regular pile. Um, we'll penny sleeve him up later. Well, let's do that one, I guess. I'm just going to remember what we pulled off of. Last. All right. Here we go. All right. Nice. Scoops, baby. Um, All-Star Rookie. Is this a cup card, rookie cup card, or is this actual Al Oliver's actual rookie card? Because I like it regardless. It's pretty cool. 1970, no. So 68, uh, so 69 would have been his rookie, is my guess. So this is a cup card. I'll take that card, though. That's pretty cool. Scoops, Al Oliver. Love Al. And um, went to play on the Expos, the Tigers. I think you wanted anybody else. Scoops, baby. There you go. Al Oliver. That car goes in the highlight pile. Okay. Dave Stewart, 83. Al Downing. Ed Ott from 77. Jimmy Gantner from 1979. Lee Aikens from 1980. And then Future Stars from 1982. Glenn Brummer, Luis DeLeon, and Gene Roof. All right. On the home stretch here, folks. Flipping these packs around too, so nobody thinks there's any shenanigans going. They're all sealed. Want everything on camera. No questions asked. Pedro Ramos. The Philadelphia Phillies from 67 tops. It's pretty cool. 
You got Bob Montgomery from 1977, followed by Bill Sharp from 74. Nice. This is a good one. Paul Malter, Alan Trammell, 78 rookie shortstops. That's a nice car right there. Followed by Amos Otis. Lots of penny sleeving going on. We'll be here for two hours if I do every single card. Um, all right. Now I'll go in the highlight pile. Amos Otis from 79. Randy Larch from 1980. And then Andre Dawson, the Hawk, from 1982. Nice card there. Okay. J. John Stone, 1971. We finally got a 71 card. It is really good shit. There's like no chipping on this at all, which is extremely rare. And even though it's J. John Stone, not a massive name, um, you know, mid-level guy, I'm still going to pencil this up because to find any kind of 70, um, um, 71 cards, like in pristine condition, is really, really rare. So there you go. That'll be good to go. Um, and he, that might be, a, is that a rookie? He looks so young there. No. Wow. Okay. Nice Alan Trammell from 1980. Um, let's leave this one up. Bernie Carbo from 77. We'll highlight Mr. Trammell. Why not? Bernie Carbo. Cesar Tovar. Cesar Geronimo. From 79. Chris Chambliss. I think we got him already. Might have been 78, though. And Bill Robinson, 1982. All right, which one do we go off? We got one, two, three, six left. So we'll go this one. Tito Fuentes, it's nice. 73. Jesus Alou, 76. Got Raleigh Fingers there. Mr. Fingers there in the Padres from 81. It's nice. Bill Russell, 74. Rookie Pitchers. Uh, Dennis Lamp is the only big one on here. Roy Thomas, Craig Mitchell. Um, we'll put him in the regular pile. Richie Zisk, and Vita Blue, another great card. 1981 Tops. There, when Vita was on the San Francisco Giants. Longtime Oakland Athletic, too. All righty. Don Dillard, 1961 rookie. So is this a 61? I think it is. That's beautiful. Followed by Mike Schmidt. Pretty cool. Let's put Don in a penny sleeve. Let me paint sleeve all of these up. Real fast. I like this box. It's got a different vibe to it this time around, though. I think because, um, um, you know, you're expecting each one to be so good. And then, you know, this box is not bad, though. I don't know what people are talking about. I'm very happy with this right now. Um... You can buy this product on eBay. There's a there's a website called Timeless Treasures. I didn't talk about it that much because I just don't want, you know, I don't want them, I don't want people to think that I'm giving them like a plug, but that's where I bought this from. And I'm not even sure if they're the actual manufacturer of this. I know they carry it. Um, it's the only one that I know of. So I'm not sure who makes these, to be honest with you. It's just universal treasures on the back of these boxes. Um, but uh, I don't know who makes this, like creates this box. I don't know where they get the cards from. Obviously, they're from sets, really good sets, but I just don't know um, anything else about it. It's really hard to find um, information on, on this product um, online anywhere. Okay, Mike Schmidt, it's pretty sweet. Got Marty Patton, so that's Schmidt from 79. We're 30 minutes in, we got to hustle this up here, so we're not here in an hour. Don't want to go over an hour. Okay, Marty Patton from 76. Bobby Valentine from 75. Nice Yankees uh, team card there. I'm 78. I'm going to put that in the regular pile. It's got a little mark down here. 
Uh, actually, we'll penny sleeve. Uh, no, we'll leave it in the regular pile. We'll put that one later. Your next rookie Harris from 83, all star card. We am with 1981 um, NL champions, Philadelphia Phillies. Phillies squeak past the Astros. So um, let's do this pile here, the right hand side. The four more packs to go. We'll do a quick little recap. Maybe we'll get, you know, four packs to go. We're gonna get somebody good, I'm thinking here. Let's keep, oh, look at the Jay Johnstone. So they pulled from the Jay Johnstone pile and gave us a 72, which I'll take. I'll put him in the regular pile. Nice Yaz, maybe three. This card actually holds value. Um, this is, it might be his, one of his last cards last year. Last year's. I don't think, I don't know if he was in, in um, 84 uh, tops or not. Um, yes. That, this card's been in this, in this product before. Clarence Gaston, Cito Gaston right there. Nice Bob Robertson from um, 74. That's a nice one. Uh, good first baseman for us for a long time. Dennis Leonard from 79. Jim Todd. And we end, that's 1988, Tots Jim Todd. And we have a 1982 George Brett All-Star card. Excuse me. All righty. Last of three packs. Let's see if we can pull out of here. Paul Lindblad, 68. Joe Rudy, that's pretty sweet. From 76, All Star, American League All Star, first baseman slash outfielder. Really good player. Ah, oh, nice. That's a nice one right there. Nolan Ryan. Let's penny sleeve him up because this is a valuable card, too. Now, it's way off center. I sold one a couple years ago on eBay. It was like a nine, and I kick myself in the pants every time I think about it because I should have kept it, and it was a stupid move, and um, it was just dumb to do that. Um, because every Ryan card from 81 that I found has been horribly off-centered. I had like probably one, and it was one I pulled from my childhood. So, yeah, I don't even like thinking about it. It makes me, makes me sad. Don Kessinger from 75. Rick Miller from 78, Dave Winfield from 83, nice Tim Foley from 81. All right, let's go with our last two packs, see what we can find in here. Like that Ryan, though. that's a nice one. Okay. Wilbur Wood from 73, Fred Stanley from 76. Nice. Cal Ripken from 83. Let's paint and sleeve this one up. Second year card for Mr. Ripken. It's been a really nice um, nice box here. No complaints at all. Um, Harry Parker from 75. Jerry Royce from 78. Nice Reggie um, from 83. All-star card, and we end with 1981 World Series card. Phillies beat Royals in the six. It's pretty cool. Okie dokie. Let's go to the last pack. Let's see if we have any last pack mojo happening here. Boom, boom. Mag magic, magic fingers. Here we go. Here we go. All right, our last pack of Universal Treasures. The best vintage baseball card search in the universe. Let's see what our last pack has. Kurt Moten from 1970 Tops. Uh, Jack Clark, not a rookie. 77, this is rookie year. So this is like his first real, you know, his first card, card, of a standalone card. Nice one there from 78. Look how young he looks. Man, oh man, he's one of my favorites growing up. Bobby Mitchell from 76. Jim Colburn from 75, Bob Bailey from 78, Rick Waits from 83, and we end with Alfredo Griffin from 1981 top. So kind of like, you know, ended on a, eh, okay, still cool. Love this product. This is awesome. I will purchase this probably one more time, and um, I like this a lot. So definitely if you get an opportunity to find this one. Pick it up. Make sure it's the green box 
but the tops only ones and they they had made like an orange one that had packs in there and um i'm not sure i never saw anyone open it like breaking the seal um i thought that a couple people opened them maybe they did and they just had really awful packs inside um and i don't even know there's to be like a, a vintage pack or two in them and and i don't know if there were and i feel kind of bad for these guys because you know you know, you're, you're always hoping and dreaming on a product like this. And then to get that, then to find these packs that were just awful. Um, you know, stuff you'd see in uh, TriStar stuff. Um, that was a cool. So stay away from that orange box. It's bad news. This is the one you want. Um, it has all the tops from, from uh, 52 to 83. Okay, so out of the three boxes, I'd say this is probably the, the lesser of the three that we've, we've opened so far. But it still was incredible. Okay, so... First and foremost, let's just show you really fast. I'm not going to go over all these cards because there's just a lot here. We're 35 minutes going 36 minutes into this video. Uh, I'm just going to put these back here. This is the 70s pile and this is the 80s pile. And then I separated um, the 60s. And there's a few, there might be a few 50s cards in here. But let's just go over uh, real fast what we're looking at. Um, this is our, you know, highlight pile. Actually, let's do the older cards first. So here you got 67, I'm sorry, 68, 67, 68 tops. Was well, this off camera? I apologize. Um, Annie, that's great. Um, really nice. This is um, 66. And this one I think is 62, 61. 61. Tops right there. Don Dillard, 1961 rookie. And then here are our highlights. 83 Ripken, 81 Ryan, 83 Yastrzemski. I mean, he could be in this pile too, but he's a Hall of Famer. And um, it's, you know, it's a later, um, later year card for Mike Schmidt from 79. This I only put in here um, because uh, it's a 71. It's the only one we got. We got another, so we have 172 as well, both Jay Johnson. But the 71 is in prime shape, and uh, that's a common, but it's still to find it in here. Usually there's a chip to, to all, you know what. Uh, A.E. Allen Trammell, this is a nice one here with Malta and Trammell, rookie shortstops car. That's a nice one there. Nice Al Oliver, second year car, is rookie cup car. Um, Scoops from 1970 tops. Nice Jim Rice from 78. This one I got to check and see if the value, if this holds any value, um, in particular with Hank Aaron on there and Hack Wilson. Oh, we'll figure it's highly. Mr. Old Steve Garvey. Not a rookie or anything like that. It was, you know, 79 tops. Nice Thurman Munson from 73. A little bit off center. It's a notorious year of, uh, this year of tops. has horrible centering issues. Hank Bauer. Um... What year is this from? 66, I think. Uh, Johnny Bench from 79. I 78 George Brett, all-star. Um, Crest there on his card. Milt Pappas is the one I want to know about. Is this 50s? What year is this? 1950s? 50... Oh, what year is this from? It's going to drive me nuts. Comment down below. 1950-something. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Nice Pete Rose from 81. Nice uh, 78 one with Dale Murphy. Rookie card there. Danny Murtaugh, another great card here. I believe this is from... Um, this could be 56. Am I right in saying that? Nice one there. Dave Parker from 78. I should put that in the penny sleeve. This is 1970. I had it in the pile here uh, for the, when the Mets celebrate World Series. And then this is a nice... We started out with this one, I believe. Nice 1970 Sporting News Pete Rose card. That's a really sweet one. Okay. Um, and then here you go. We have a Cal Ripken rookie card. Bingo. Bongo. Paul Malter Auto. Um, pretty cool. like this box. I like this product. I'm going to purchase it again without a doubt. And, uh, again, I, I have no affiliation with this company. I just like this product an awful lot. I've had extreme, extremely good luck with it. You know, um, I don't know. You know, I, I'm sure other people have had good luck with this too as well. Um, but, um, yeah, there you go. Um, there you go. That's it for today, folks. Hey, if you're not subscribing, you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button right below my index finger and, uh, right down there. And, um, 
you can uh, join our wonderful world here. <laughs> uh, and, um, yeah. And what else can I say here? Share this video your friends, family, and loved ones. Uh, like this video, too. Give us a thumbs up. What else can I tell you? Um, share this with your friends, family, and loved ones. The eBay store link is down below in the description. Again, this has been the third box of Universal Treasures. Uh, the best vintage baseball card search in the universe. And I really like this product. Like I said, we'll purchase it again. We'll showcase it again. And we'll probably do it live. I was going to do it this time a lot, but I don't have any moderators. I figured it would be kind of chaotic if I just did it on my own. Um, you know, to try to answer people's questions on the stream and everything else. Um, so next time I will uh, do this live. And we'll get some people to help me out. And um, have a nice time at it. That's it for today, folks. Hey, now subscribe. Like I said, subscribe and enjoy the weekend. And what else can I tell you? That's about it. I um, hope you had a great time watching this this product here, this product break of Universal Treasures. We got more videos in the week, week uh, next week for you. Uh, good lineup for you as well. A little distracted there. Apologize. Um, yeah. So have a great weekend, and we will see you guys next week. And that's it. Hey, this is John on Sports Card signing off, and we'll see you. All